Good morning. You have been in suspension for 50 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. That's pretty simple. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical gymnastics. and mental wellness exercise. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. A framed painting on the wall. Well, there it is. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. Good. Now please return to your bed. I gotta be honest, that art really did the trick. And reflecting upon it really kind of was like, it was, it was a good uh, compliment. It was like peanut butter and chocolate. Good morning. You have been in suspension for nine, 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 nine. This Hello? Anyone in there? Should vacate the enrichment Hello? Immediately. Any test Are you going to open the door? At this time. At any time? Oh, F me. Hello? What happened? No? Relaxation. Are you going to open this door? Because it's, fa it's fairly urgent. All right, I'll open the door. I'll open the door. Ah! Oh, God. That's you a look um, good. Looking good, actually. Are you OK? How are you? Don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it. Slowly. Please prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm. Stay, stay calm. Prepare. It's all I'm saying. Prepare. It's all fine. All right? Don't move. I'm going to get us out of here. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice. Up to you. Down there? Can you hear me? I can Hello? hear you. Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. <laughs> but don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although if you do if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying? Oh, so absolutely. does any of this make any sense? Just tell me, just say yes. Yes. Oh. Okay, what you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just, you just <laughs> jumped, but never mind. Say apple. 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 Okay, you know what, that's close enough. Just hold tight. All reactor core safeguards are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. Okay, look, I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. How are you doing down there? What You're still the holding hell? on. The reserve power ran out, so of course the whole relaxation center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. And of course, nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be kept informed? You know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of. Why? It's close. Can you see? Am I going to make it through? Have I got enough space? Uh, just, just got to get through here. Okay, I just got to concentrate. And whose fault do you think it's going to be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? Alright, see, now I hit that one. I hit that one. Okay, listen, we should get our story straight, alright? If anyone asks, and no one's going to ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive, alright? Not dead. Okay. Almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. Oh, my God. Are they just going to smash me through that wall? Good I news. better get back. That is not a docking station. 
So there's one mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. A manual override? You're just Almost smashing there. me through the wall. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes. Not bullet holes. But don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. Listen, this isn't my first rodeo. I know what hole gun you're talking about. There we go. Now, I'll be honest, you are probably in no fit state to run this particular type of cognitive gauntlet. But um, at least you're a good jumper. So you got that, you got the jumping on your side. Um, just do your best, and I'll meet you up ahead. Okay. That's it. Good luck. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open and emergency testing will begin in three, two, one. Oh! <gasps> I'm a lady. I'm a pretty lady. I didn't know that. Okay. Woohoo! A very pretty lady. So, this is not my first rodeo. I've gone through the testing chambers. I've met GLaDOS. I might have been asleep for nine, 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 nine months. Cue and button based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. If cube and button based testing caused this emergency, don't worry, the odds of this happening twice are very slim. Please note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture science material emancipation grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through. Okay. I remember that vaguely, or maybe I don't. What kind of equipment would get vaporized from me? I don't know. Oftentimes, when there's an earthquake or a fire, they tell you just to use the stairs. Is there a stairway instead of this elevator? All right, this time. This time only. Oh, it's a very nice elevator. I was worried that the elevator was, you know, not going to work right. Uh, yes, I'm sorry, sorry if Horrible Hog, if you didn't know the cake neck. is a lot. Relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your tablets. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. Ooh. Let's see, this must be the instructions. Okay. Oh, there's only 19 of these. I'm gonna crush this. So put the box on probably the button. Okay. That's freaking easy. I can't go into that portal, there's no other sign. Okay. So my buttons will make the portals for me. Hey, thank you. Let's walk through. And then... Oh, I see. Then I gotta hit this button for the next portal. Put this on here. And away we go! And let me guess. Oh, I'm so good at this game! Good. I trained well. Because of the ladders. technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. Before re entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will remind you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. Society's rebuilt. The little clue you get from that is society has been broken down. I don't feel safe with this elevator. Look at all those boxes there. I really feel like we need another way of 
traveling floors. And my gut says, down's not the right way. I don't know. I feel like up to the surface, unless I'm in some sort of skyscraper. If the Earth is currently governed by a manner of animal king, sentient cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to or is incapable of listening to reason. Uh, there was no if this then that. It was just if this. Oh shit. Oh shit. Shit, shit, shit. I don't know why I signed up for Aperture Labs in the first place. I could have just donated blood or plasma or donated semen or something like that to get by. But instead I decided to make some money by doing the hey, Aperture Lab test. You made it! There should be a, a portal device on that podium over there. Okay. I can't see it though. Maybe it fell off. Oh! Oh! I'm gonna die! Hello? Oh. oh. Can you see the portal gun? No. Also, are you alive? If that's important, you should have asked that first. <gasps> There's the portal gun. I'm work on the assumption that you're still alive, and I'm just gonna wait for you up ahead. I'll wait, I'll wait one hour, then I'll come back, and assuming I can locate your dead body, I'll bury you. All right, brilliant. Go team. See you in an hour, hopefully. If you're not dead. Oh. This is, now that I have the portal gun, this game is over. It was regrettable that I joined Aperture Labs to make a little bit of money on the side. I didn't get a degree, okay? I had to make ends meet, had to pay the rent. My guess is that my landlord's long past done after nine, 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 nine months in hibernation. So really, this is good news. It's hard to think of it as good news, but likely all the bill collectors that I had been saving money for are dead. Unless, no, the worry I have is that Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robots to share. Hmm. Yeah, but the worry that I have is I had a contract for a certain amount of time to make money, and my hope is that, you know... Wait, why... Why am I only able to get blue ones? Where? Oh, because there's the orange. Orange is stuck there. Oh, so if I do this, <gasps> aha, oh, never mind, never mind, I get it, but yeah, what if the interest rates were higher than the money I made, huh, I could end up walking out of this place and owing more money than I started. Good. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. Another elevator. One of these elevators, mark my words, is going to send me jettisoning to my death. Question is... Okay, it's very simple. I was wondering, like, maybe I didn't know that I was going up or down. It's just an elevator. It's clear. The glass on the sides is clear. So it is clear. I'm going down. And as an expert once said, you gotta get down. You gotta get up to get down. You gotta get down to get up. Or whatever. It's a Dark Souls thing. This next test is very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed in three, two, one. Well, that actually does help. I was worried for a minute. Oh. I really, really needed that smooth jazz. Oh! My guess is that I can't actually do that. 
that, huh? So now I got a box. This is so... I mean, you're gonna have to wake up earlier to keep me down here, Aperture Labs. I faced GLaDOS. GLaDOS was... She was smart. I'll give her that. But she was kind of fake, you know? Artificial. She had artificial intelligence. I have what you would call true human genius. No big deal. Oh. Well, start like this. Put that there. Take this. I might be able to just drop it. That didn't. That wasn't a throw. Okay. Simple as that. Oh. But then how do I get through? Hmm. I bet you it's in this room. Or maybe, maybe there's another box down here. Ah, there it is. So I gotta do that again, huh? Great work. Because this message is pre-recorded, any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. This is, uh, this is unexpected. <laughs> what the fudge? Well, it worked. It sure worked. Well, at least this elevator looks like it's working fine. There's nothing tumbling upon it. I think it's safe to go down. So let's take a look here. Uh, you only get blue. Oh, blue ones because they ran out on their budget. That does that makes sense. The orange ones are always more expensive. James has superhuman intelligence. Unfortunately, equally high percentage of human error factor is applied to it. What does that mean? <laughs> That's. A, over my if head. the management center is currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space, please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. Space debris? I mean, this is actually, now that I'm thinking about it, it looks like the jungle has overtaken Aperture Labs. Test number five. I am about a quarter of the way through this game. Let's see here. Box falls down, put box on the button, get hit in the head with box, and swim. I don't know that I understand the legends here. Uh, I don't know that I understand the legends. Oh. Here we go. Oopsies. I'm beating this one too. simple. We gotta get this button. Oh, let's push this button here. And this will get me a box. Where's the box? It's over there. That's easy. I'll just pop one of these underneath it. And now I've got a box. Oh, that was simple. And now I'm a winner. Actually, my guess is that it's going to be more complex than that. A box? Uh, let me just save us the time. This box is going to fall now. And...
Okay. Easy. Yeah! Boom shakalaka! I love these cubes. I've always wanted to get one of those, like, stuffed animal well versions of the cubes. The Enrichment Center reminds you that although circumstances may appear bleak, you are not alone. All Aperture Science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic, low-power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. Wow, that is really low voltage. 1.1. Like, I put my tongue on a 9-volt battery. Are you telling me? Maybe I misunderstood what I heard, but you could run these elevators on 1 volt of batteries? Okay, so I guess what it is that we're saying here is that, yes, I've got superhuman intelligence, but I still make mistakes. And it's like, you know, if you make a mistake with a Nerf gun, it's, it, let's call my mind a weapon. Now, if my mind was a Nerf gun and I made a mistake, no big deal. This Nobody next gets hurt. The but if my mind is a suitcase nuke, portals. if the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. If I make a mistake, that's what you're saying. Dropping boxes, putting boxes on things. Don't get hit in the head with a box. And jumping off and flying through. This is all stuff I learned from GLaDOS. At the time, I didn't really like her. I bet you, well, I know exactly what I need to do. Okay, here it goes. Oh, what? Right idea, wrong positioning. Ugh, nice. <laughs> that run button's not gonna work. Okay. Oh, fall down. Oh, screw it. No big deal. This is super easy to fix. We can do this. Oh, biggie. Oh, biggie. <laughs> there it is. Now, it's convenient that this is going to have the same trajectory as me. Right? Please? Okay. And away we go. If you are a non-employee who has discovered this facility amid the ruins of civilization, welcome. And remember, testing is the future, and the future starts with you. Okay. It's not a portal pad. Portal pad. I mean, when I walk into an aperture test lab, I just have to absorb the whole thing. It's like looking at a painting of a mountain. And then I need to, if I want to get the full experience of it, I need to reflect upon it. Wow. Wow is right. Gotta take a leap of faith. Whoa, sometimes that makes me feel a little sick. I feel like I want this thing up here, right? back up there. That was dumb of me. And this is probably not enough space to get me over there. Oh, and it's way more than enough. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. So, I see what we gotta do. 
where does this thing need to get to in the end? I need to be able to shoot into that thing. I hope this works. It did. Oh, I hope I don't get hurt slamming into that other wall. Well, I survived. My nose could have used a little flattening out anyway. gonna get through that glass. I don't have a melee move. Oh, I'll be here forever. Not true. Just had to use the old thinking machine. So I think that all I gotta do is just jump back in. It should all be good now, right? Good work getting this far, future starter. That said, if you are simple-minded, old, or irradiated in such a way that the future should not start with you, please return to your primitive tribe and send back someone better qualified for testing. I'm pretty much as good as it gets when it comes to not being... I mean, I'm old, but not as old as, you know... Not, I'm not retirement age. I still got some of my best years ahead of me. And I'm not going back to my primitive tribe, because I'm the, I'm the last hope, is what I'm trying to say. There's no one else. You to ensure that sufficient got. power remains for core testing protocols, all safety devices have been disabled. The Enrichment Center respects your right to have questions or concerns about this policy. Okay. Find a portal gun. Oh, the, do you know what? It just goes to show people with brain damage are the real heroes in the end, aren't they? At the end of the day, brave. Pop a portal on that wall behind me there, and I'll meet you on the other side of the room. Okay, just pop a portal right behind me there and come on through to the other side. I'm just gonna do it, right? I should be come fine. on through. I made it. Okay, listen, let me lay something on you here. It's pretty heavy. They told me never, never, ever to disengage myself from my management rail or I would die. But we're out of options here. So get ready to catch me, all right, on the off chance that I'm not dead the moment I pop off this thing. On three. Ready? One. Two. Three! That's high. It's, w it's too high, isn't it, really, that? All right, going on three just gives you too much time to think about it. Let's uh, go on one this time. Okay, ready? One. Catch me, catch me! Oh, I, I didn't have my I hands free. I'm not dead. I'm not dead. <laughs> Plug me into that stick on the wall over there, yeah? And I'll show you something. You'll be impressed by this. What stick? What stick, what wall? This stick? Go on, just jam me. Um, yeah, I can't do it if you're watching. Seriously, I'm not, I'm not joking. Could you just turn around for a second? All right, you can turn around now. Bam! Secret panel. Not open while well, your back was turned. Oh, Pick me cool. up. Well, let's get out of here. And off we go. Look at this. No rail to tell us where to go. Oh, this is brilliant. We can go wherever we want. Just hold on, though. Where are we going? Seriously. Hang on, let me just get my bearings. Um, just follow the rail, actually. <laughs> Follow oh, no. the room. Yes, hello, no, we're not stopping. Don't make eye contact, whatever you do. No, thanks, we're good. Appreciate it. Keep moving, keep moving. I love those little creatures. They're from Portal 1. They were from before I had the long sleep. The big sleep.
probably ought to bring you up to speed on something right now. In order to escape, we're going to have to go through her chamber, and she will probably kill us if if she's um, awake. I think I know who you're talking about when you say her. My best guess is you're talking about Okay, Gladys. I'm going to leave my cards on the table. I don't want to do it. I don't want to go in there. Don't don't go in there. She, she's off. She's off. Don't panic over. She's off. All fine. On we go. There she is. What a nasty piece of work she was, honestly. Like a proper maniac. Do you know who ended up uh, do you know who ended up taking her down in the end? You're not gonna believe this. A human. I know. I know, I wouldn't have believed either. Apparently this human escaped and uh, nobody's seen him since. Then there was a sort of long chunk of time where um, absolutely nothing happened. And then there's us escaping now, so um, that's pretty much the whole story. You're up to speed. Don't touch him. Hmm. Here I thought I was the one. I was the one who destroyed GLaDOS. Arrows this way. Okay, down these stairs. Jump! This, actually, look at it, that is quite a, that's quite a distance, no, isn't I'm it? I'm not jumping. You're okay, crazy. Okay, you know what? Uh, go ahead and jump. You've got, you've got braces on your legs, so you're all set. Although no braces on your arms, though, so you're going to have to rely on the old human strength to keep a grip on the device and, by extension, me. So do, do really make sure you keep a grip on I me. I don't think I should Also, jump. a note, no braces on your spine either, so, so don't land on that. Um, or your head, no braces there. That could, that could split like a melon from this height. <laughs> um, so do definitely focus on landing with your legs. Can I, quick question, have you been working out? Because, I'll be honest, there's no evidence of it. You know, I'm not... I'm... Ah! Oh, still held, <sighs> still being held. You did, that's Jeez. a great job. You've applied the grip. I thought I was fine. dead that's for sure. Tremendous. I wonder if they have some sort of vending machine down here that I can heat something because if I don't get out of ah! here... I just, sorry, I just looked down. I do not recommend it. Ah, I've just done it again. Yeah, I'm going to need some food unless I want to eat the plants that are growing throughout this building, but there's a chance that those plants are poison this ivy. is the main